Wow. <laughs> I mean, should we take Creepy Santa down or should Creepy Santa be in it? Creepy Santa should be in it. Creepy Santa should always be in it. Okay. Um, I mean, the title of this video is a big deal. We That's... haven't talked about what we're, how we're going to talk about it we or anything. Yeah. We're, just we're gonna... losing daylight. Yeah. And we are going to try to go out tonight, but our... As you can see from the title, we've been kind of busy like figuring things out, yes. planning. But um, our chapter here in Florida has come is coming quickly to an end. Yeah, and this has been in the pipeline. We've talked about it. We've prepared. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Eve wanted to join. She's moving too. Um, we've prepared for it. We actually. Something that we didn't tell you all is that we signed a six-month lease instead of a 12-month lease. Um, and which so, ends March 1st. Right, which ends March 1st. So we've kind of had this in the pipeline that this was a possibility of happening. And over the past couple of months, we've made the decision that we are going to be moving back to Chicago this spring. And it, I don't think we're going to go into detail here, are we? Mm -hmm. Like, I guess we could. Like. You may think it's because of James. You may think because of the pandemic. You may think of like, it's for a lot of reasons, mm -hmm. but I will say for Peter, the, the domino that started all of it for me was us actually moving to Winter Park a year mm -hmm. and a half ago. Right. And I mean, I agree. It was definitely a change of pace moving here. If you've been with us for, you know, the past three years, you know that we had, we were going to the parks every single day our life severely changed when we moved here, not just because of the location, but also because of um, just what had happened right after it, losing Sweet Pea, becoming pregnant, and then the pandemic. And so it's a lot of different reasons. Yeah. But and um, here we are. It's, it's happening. happening. Yeah. We're going back to Chicago. We're still going to daily vlog. Mm -hmm. We're still going to vlog all the time. That's, and we're the, still the vlog going... Is to go to Disney World. Yeah, so <laughs> huge. This is a big update that has been like semi-confirmed as of yesterday. So like this has been a process. Like clearly we told ourselves and our landlord six months ago that we're only setting a six month, but we didn't tell family right away about that. Mm -hmm. It's been a slow trickle of like, hey, we're thinking about moving back to, hey, we're pretty certain we'll be back, but we don't know when. Does Peter keep his job? Do I find a new job? Then it turned into, well, this is happening. And then really quickly over the past three weeks, it's been like, Oh, we're gonna try to get out before this without extending this lease. Right. Caveat: We might have to extend this lease a yeah. little bit because we're we're planning logistics. But I found out this week that my company, Wyndham Destinations, will let me stay on and work 100% remote, which helps us come back. Like we have our DVC, mm -hmm. we love driving, we love flying. You know, it, when the world is in a better place, we are going to come to Disney. My goal, I told Sarah, is three or four good vacations a year. Yeah. Like sometimes four nights, sometimes 10 nights. Yeah. And so that is totally going to still be a priority. You guys know us. It's Disney runs through our veins and it's so important to us. And that's, that's why we moved here. We did not move to Florida because we're Florida people. We moved to Florida because we're Disney people. And I think a big, a big part of our decision was that our life severely changed with the pandemic here. So what we used to enjoy about being able to run into the parks at a moment's notice, to hang out at the resorts, things like that just aren't operating the way that they used to. I think they will eventually. I do too, but we just don't know when. Right, and but mm -hmm. I think that it like that's why it's important. There's many reasons why we're yes. going because like another reason being like obviously families in Chicago. Yeah, we have James now, but also like living. With, what I said about moving to Winter Park is like it. Sh it reminded us like what regular life looks like outside of theme park world and we just love and vibe with chicago life more than orlando life more yeah. than you know st petersburg florida yeah, more than new york florida. city right. like we want to get back to our home of downtown chicago yeah. so like, we're not we even moving back to, to the raise, suburbs and we want to raise james in chicago yeah so we are moving to the city and not the suburbs um don't have a place yet right that's that's really what we've been doing the past couple of days that have has put off the vlog. And a big portion of what I wanna put out there is that we've always been honest in our videos. So if we're at the parks and we're acting all fun and then we sign off at the end of the day, I don't wanna be searching for jobs, stressing. I think that we owe it to you guys and owe it to ourselves to not have to fake this big task at hand. And so, we want to say, hey, we're staying home tonight because we're in contact with the realtor and we need to get things situated. And we want to show you that process. 
we don't want to have to hide that we're doing that for the right. sake of you know content or keeping you here until the minute we leave like that's our intention is to be true yeah. to ourselves and true to you guys and we um, think you guys are going to love that this process and that adventure and what we're going to do in chicago because you didn't know us on a regular daily basis when we lived right. in chicago and we're going to live anywhere from wrigley to the loop we're yeah. going in that we're looking searching in that range right you're going to see us go into parks and zoos and, and the we, beach we and downtown. Haven't, and we haven't experienced Chicago to its fullest the way that we are going to. As residents. Yes. We have learned so much living here. We have learned to live every day that it's worth documenting. That's what the daily vlog is. Um, we've changed our mindset with work and life balance. And I'm just so excited to be able to be in Chicago and to live how we've lived here. But live it there. And we are so, so grateful that we've lived here during this time because so many people right now are stuck at home with the pandemic. Like we have Disney World as our backyard. Mm -hmm. It's open safely. Obviously there are pros and cons to how life has gone on here, but we also, we want to make sure that this was a big decision that we did not take lightly, that we went through all of the different elements and made this decision for the best thing for our family right and for us right being honest with ourselves yeah. to no one else right because we know that many people would love to live here right now and to do what we have been doing we're just ready yeah, so we're, we're doing gonna a lot be of work doing right now uh -huh. um, oh another thing that would, would bring us back to florida is our embryos are staying here for right yes. now our mm -hmm. we're, we're not leaving dr Loy, our, our wonderful mm -hmm. doctor we still plan on in uh, when the time is right and we need to go, if we need to go back to his services to come down and either do the procedures down here with him, with our embryos, or eventually move the embryos up to Chicago. But I would like, it would be fun to come down for two or three weeks, stay right. at a Wyndham property for like from work for two or three weeks and do like an embryo transfer where we have to, she's not allowed to move for six days here in Florida and see our friends and family that we've grown and grown right. down here or come to our old neighborhoods that like, mm -hmm. Before we'd only come to Florida, but maybe we or Disney, maybe we'd go to Universal. Maybe yeah. we'd come to HHN. Maybe we'd go like to Winter this Park. This is still very much so home. Yeah. And we keep on saying it's funny to be moving out of choice and and that being rooted in happiness. That we're moving from some place we love so much at a in a period of time we love so much to a new and happy adventure because previously our moves had been dictated around you know not feeling fulfilled while we were in the trenches of infertility or. You yeah. know, different other elements, you know, and during our personal lives of other moves that we've had to make. So, right. like the simplest way is like we're moving from a good situation to a good situation where yeah. every other move we've done has been from a not favorable situation to a good situation. Right. So, it's been easy to be like, yes, let's go right this second. Yes. Whereas this time it's like, like, it's let's just, go. How lot, do we want this to look? To is this yeah. the right move? It is the right move, but. Where do we go from here? Like, we're excited to move, but we're also sad to leave. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a lot of emotions, but we are we are very excited. Yeah. Um, as we, we think about things we're going to be able to do and, and bring you and walk Eve and show James right. and show you the guys. Earhart's just moved to Michigan. Michigan. So even if we're not with them for all of their Disney trips. There's a train um, right to them right. Well, from downtown. We'll be able to see them a lot more often. Um, and so it just feels right. Eve ours. I'll get her. And so it just feels right. We always said that, you know, if we felt differently, that we would be true to ourselves. And over the past six months, you know, it did not happen overnight. Um, it just feels like the right, the right move. So once again, the Brookhart Project has always been about the project that it is the Brookharts. Yeah. And... We've always said we're not a Disney vlog. We're just a vlog that lives in Disney and goes to Disney often. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's going to continue. We're still right. going to go to Disney, which is gonna probably almost on some realms going to be exciting because they'll be like super pumped vacation vlogs, not right. just an afternoon at Epcot. Right. Um, but you'll also see him going on Michigan Avenue on Christmas time or us bringing Eve to Chris Kindle Market yeah. next holiday season. Uh, yeah. St. Patrick's Day celebrations, all the parades, all the neighborhoods. Right. It's going to be, our life is not slowing down by moving to Chicago. No. It's staying just as fast as it is now. Yes. And so we know 
we've talked about it to a lot of um, our friends and family. It hasn't really been you know, necessarily set in stone. So if you're hearing this for the first time now, hopefully, you know, give us a text, give us a call. Sorry, James had to have a snack. Um, so the idea is March 1. That's when this lease is up. We may have to talk to our landlord about extending depending on logistics. But currently the plan is going to be weird because Sarah and I love road trips. But Sarah and James will probably fly up. Yes. And we actually right. talked to Grant. so strange. We're just such like, we do everything together. And so to like not have this last little bit together. But um, we know that we don't want James to, to drive that long. Um, He's, it's not good for him to be in a car seat that long. Right. So we're gonna fly. We're gonna drive, we're gonna fly Grant, our brother-in-law, down, and he agreed that if we flew him down, he would help me drive the U-Haul up, and we're gonna tow our we're gonna get a tow on the U-Haul for the uh, Ford Fusion, and then Eve would just drive with right. with me and Grant, yeah. um, and just drive straight through. Yeah. It's weird because I get to stay stay with my company, and I haven't been in the office since March. That like I told Sarah, it's weird that I could stop working on like a Thursday, let's say, and say, hey, I'm gonna take Friday off, and come back to work or just sign on to work on Monday and be in Chicago with, right. and it's like my team. So it's like it's, things it's, are changing, but they're not at the yeah. same time. It's just, yeah. Yeah. It's cool. And it's exciting. It's exciting. It's nervous, and, nerve wracking. Right. Where people who like now that, you know, after it was kind of like Christmas and my mom and then New Year's, it was always like, okay, well then after that, that's, it's only two months away and like March seems so far, but it really isn't. And that, so that's what it was. After your mom people, left, it was yeah. like, yeah. there's not enough right. time. And we're people that like, we're going to look for apartments and situate everything, uh, you know, full heartedly. And so it's been really taking up a lot of our time. Um, but yeah, we're hopeful that us putting in that effort, we'll be able to really enjoy our last amount of time here. Yeah. And then we can be upfront and honest when we're nostalgic about, our last, um, who knows if we'll get to stay in a resort again, or even just different things that happen um, right. in the parks. I mean, this was, I don't know if you could even really tell, but like with it being our last Christmas here, we were like, we were trying to stay at Wilderness Lodge and feel those, you know, we soaking all soak those extra all the moments. Disney magic and all mm -hmm. the holiday magic and... And that's we're why continue that's to why that. we've kind of been more you know less frugal with our DVC points and we've had some friends that gifted us points and we did those stays and we're like yes like another one last time at Saratoga Springs before we're not locals one last time here yeah. like doing these things where it's like in our mind we've been saying that but you guys know we like to talk right so like we're happy to finally tell you guys and I know a lot of you're gonna be excited I know a lot of you're gonna be nervous a lot of you're gonna be upset mm -hmm. my friend Steve it feels those all of those emotions every day I texted him last yeah. night to let him know like hey this is happening buddy mm -hmm. and he's like are you sure yeah like he got his Brooklyn out and was like mm -hmm. no <laughs> but we are we talked about it through and through and it's happening it's happening so that is today's vlog because yesterday was spent um, again really you know trying to get things organized um, and yeah we're gonna make the most of the last couple months and move to Chicago this yeah. spring yeah we love you guys and it is good to be it's home. good to be home we know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>